Look at my bear sitting there looking all cute. Ready to have lunch with someone at work. You big cutie. <laughs> Is that a slam zoom? You got salmon this time? Yeah. Ooh, did you try it already? No, I am waiting for you. Oh, that's big cutie. Shout outs to Be Nutritious for these meal preps. These things come in handy like crazy. And these are my favorite ones. They're Kung Pao chickens, really good. Super good macros and it's been helping me get lean and I always get double protein so it comes with an extra one just like this. Throw these bad boys in here. Ma Bear, you did this, didn't you? Nope. Yeah, you did. I freaking, this is my pet peeve right here. People that set the wrong time and then they take it out early. I don't know why people do that. Doesn't make any sense. Well. <laughs> You're cutie. Because you could just always put in the time that you need. Like for example, for me it's perfectly a minute 30. So that's what I have. Duh, I don't know why. Like there's times where I go up there and there's like three seconds. I'm like, you couldn't have just waited three seconds. Insane. Dun, da, da, da. You know what's really cuny about this? Not just that me and Mob are eating lunch and taking our office lunch break together, but we're both getting lean together. Whoa, 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 let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We both have similar goals, trying to do the same thing at the same company. Doing the same thing at the same company, living at the same place. Having the same kid. <laughs> I know we have the same kid too, isn't that crazy? We got the same everything. I'm old as fuck. Almost yeah. 40, but we look good. You know, we were. Whoa, we whoa, look whoa. So bad. whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's hot. Oh, yeah, chew so that good. Right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I actually, um, I was testing the shrimp daddy sauce, the bottle shrimp daddy what? sauce. What? Shrimp so, daddy? I marinated the chicken thigh <gasps> oh, in the sauce and then we have rice and chimichurri on the side. Mm. We don't have a launch date of when the scrimp daddy sauce is available yet, huh? Not yet. We're thinking April, so that's next month. Ooh. How do you like working in both companies? Like both like Which one's better? Like yeah, yeah, which one's better? Which one's better? The the Barbell Brigade Bar and Geo companies or like the, the Lotus Group company, like the Shrimp Daddy and Jumbi? Um, yeah, the lame one. The um, lame yeah. one. I think, I think her clothes I, tells you. I think her clothes tells you. Let me see. Oh, love, yeah. Oh, 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 let me see. Oh, oh, Wait, what? What's oh. that? Oh, yeah, the slides too? Yeah, the slides and the socks. Oh, shoot. The sweater. Oh, I damn. Answer, but you can take um, me. Okay. But I love working for both companies. They're different in their own ways. And so I appreciate Let me see. Which one of your fingers are crossed? Are your fingers crossed? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you going to come eat with us or no? I guess. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Look at Nadim's teeth. <laughs> Damn, that's perfect, dude. That's nice, right? Dude, you should freaking... You ever think about doing commercials? Like auditioning to do like teeth and smiling commercials? I, I won't feel authentic, but I feel like those people are also not authentic. They have nice teeth, though. What do you mean authentic? Your teeth looks great. Yeah, but I don't need to fucking like use teeth whiteners or other things that they do. No, just for commercials. Just like... Like, eat some Hershey's and smile. Let me see you do go. Go eat oh, some just, Hershey's. I mean, like, uh, Colgate. Oh, no, no, no. Just any commercial. Be like, go, go. Yeah, say this. Yeah. Buy Liberty Insurance and then smile. Buy Liberty Insurance. Dude, I want to buy That's it already. Perfect. No. That's good. I'm frauding people. <laughs> no, that was really good, dude. There's no insurance on my teeth. No, car insurance. Liberty Insurance, car insurance, or life? I don't know. <laughs> One of those. I'm not in charge of the com the insurance companies. I just write the commercials. Why do you have all these records next to your desk? I don't know. Got lots of what extra, is this? extra trash. Oh, you know what this is? I think this is the elastic band we were developing for the leg part of the singlet. The, the leg, leg part? part? You know how like our singlet, the one we made before, like they actually held really tightly? Yeah. And I think this is uh, that part of it. So we're not developing anymore? No, we have to cancel that project. But it's rubberized. Feel it. This is next level. We we're developing some next level shit at the time. Oh wow! See, that's why our singlets were the best. Were oh, were right. before we had to cancel the project. Yeah, too bad, guys. You can't get it. I gotta get mine. My singlet. Oh, because you're competing, huh? In July. 
30. Oh, your birthday's in July? Mm -hmm. That means you have to deadlift. You have to squat 300 then. Because you can roll the jump. Oh. Squat 300? Oh, what happened to the chain? Buddy. Oh, hey, gone. little buddy. See his dick? No, I'm not going to zoom in there. This is a family channel, dude. It starts pissing everywhere. It is a family channel. Everyone is gone now. It's just lonely old me here. Which is normal. You know, when you're an entrepreneur, you're usually the first one in, last one out, and that's what I'm used to. Of course, Mobber used to be here with me when we didn't have a kid, but she's double timing, so she has to go home and be a mom so that uh, grandma could go home. But it's okay because uh, during this quiet time, I like to get a lot of creative work done. So I just wrote a bunch of copy, um, which is like text for captions, for marketing materials, and planning some of the other launches. And speaking of launches, in front of me, I'm working on some launches that'll be coming out in May slash June timeframe, which is pretty sick. So just messing with some color samples and also the fitment. So most of our clothes, if you guys support us, which I know a lot of you guys do, thank you guys so much. It's more of like the athletic fitment, right? It's like slug, slug, it's snug, it fits good, it's tapered, and it's snug around the arms. But uh, recently the trend for streetwear is baggier fitment, but not uh, like free t-shirts bag. You know the difference? You know when you go to like a insurance event or something, like Mercury insurance event, and they'll give you a t-shirt. It's just random big box square. Like there's no style to it. Well now streetwear is moving in the big boxy fitment, but with still some sort of like snug and like the way it drapes and sits on you, there's a very specific way of it looking. And that's what we're working on for our next drop. And since this is more of like a capsule drop, meaning um, not all of our clothes are going in this direction, it's uh, all of our clothes are still going to be the main athletic gym fitment that everyone's used to. But for this specific capsule, meaning this specific mini launch, we're going to bring more of like a streetwear oversized feel, which I'm really excited about because um, although it's the trend now, but when I first started lifting, I used to watch like the Ronnie Coleman, Branch Warren, Jay Cutler videos back in late 90s early 2000s and the bodybuilders back then if you remember wore baggy clothes like their sleeves went all the way down to their elbows and i always thought it looked so sick when your arms are so huge that even with the big sleeve it can't cover it so it's kind of cool for me where although for streetwear this might be like oh cool the new thing baggy but for me since I'm a freaking old boomer, I've been around the block and I've seen this and this is for me is like coming full circle. I'm like, that's so cool that the trends have now evolved where my brand, which is a modern fitness brand, is able to incorporate some cuts from the past, but today. And I'm just deciding between these two colors and these two are my favorite because you know with Barbell, like all of our stuff is mainly black. So these would be off. That could be pretty cool if that's like a really dark navy but i really like these i think this will look great inside the gym and out which is the goal for barber game and then also i finally got the measurements in for um the gym not the gym for uh, my garage in vegas which is a three car garage shape like this with a little bit of storage and so now we're planning um the gym setup and I'm working with like a company to see what the best way is to set up a gym because the goal for this gym and I'll probably make a completely one-off video about it because there's a lot of moving parts that go into making like a dope home gym from putting up mirrors to even painting it the right color and, and stuff like that but I want the gym to be able to be fully uh, strength and conditioning capable meaning not just be able to like squat bench deadlift but also put band attachments, chains, um, box jumps. Um, pretty much like if if um, Conor McGregor or like any full-time fighter wanted to come live with us, they can train and get their strength and conditioning done inside of my garage gym. That's how sick I want it to be. So I'm planning that. And uh, yep, that's what I'm doing right now.
So this is why it's important to always have protein next to you. For me, I got the horchata flavor, which I think we're sold out. So I have one of the last bottles. Um, it's important because right now, you know, I randomly get these like hunger cravings, like, oh, I'm so hungry out of nowhere. And it's easy to Postmates and go out and get something bad, but that's diverting you from your goals, right? And that's the whole reason why you wanna get meal prep so that you already have food ready to go when you're hungry and you don't make stupid decisions. So that's why for me, I think my other version or my plan B of meal prepping is I always bring food and I always have my protein right next to me so that I can make a quick shake and cure this hunger while I get about another 30 minutes to an hour of work done and then go home and then be with the family. I'm sure most of you guys don't do this at home where you take bottled water and pour into another bottle. But since we're at a workplace, we just have a ton of bottled water. But this is really cool. This size is actually the perfect amount of water that I like for my protein. Because for my protein, I always take two scoops at a time. So that puts me at 50 grams of protein. So I could always count on 50 grams of protein every time I get a serving. And to get the best flavor, I try to put it at like anywhere between eight to 10 ounces. And so this exactly puts me there. Which is tight. Hey, hey, it is hey. so cold out there. You know how cold it is right now? How ah. cold is it? It's 48 degrees. 48 degrees? Yeah, look at the snow capped mountains over there. It's so cold. You know how cold it's going to be tonight? How cold is it going to be tonight? 37. Whoa, that's beautiful. 37? You know what I do like though? I do like the uh, daylight savings. I know, I'm home and there's light. Oh, this is so awesome. Where are my clothes? Did you pick up my clothes? Dude? No, 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 it's behind you. Ah! Oh, there it is. We got a little astronaut in this house. Can you put on your moon boots? Hey, you got Fuji feet. You don't got stinky feet. We're getting ready to go outside to get some mail. But it's there so you go. Cold right now. You're so exaggerated. It's not even cold. What is it you said? 40 degrees? 30, yeah. 30 degrees? I'm from California. We don't have this weather. How are you going to be ready for Vegas? Vegas, like. What happened? Oh. You hit your nose. You hit your nose. How'd you hit your oh, nose? My hair is different. Oh, no. Oh, you, you zipped okay? it to your nose? You're not bleeding. You're okay. I zipped the arm up. You want to put your, your hoodie up? Yeah, I don't, don't want to hit my coat. You want your head to be cold? How are you going to handle Vegas, baby, if you can't handle like the 30s oh, and 40s? Quiet. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's go. Oh, it feels awesome out here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can smell wood. I love that smell. Ooh. Looks beautiful out here. You do have rain boots. You wait for me, mommy. <laughs> Mom bear's running because it's so cold that she's like, I want to get it over with. So she, I'm going to run and get the mail and then run back. It's just so cold. And it's exaggerated. It's not even that cold. Are you serious? It's not that cold. You got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me? You gonna leave your son behind? Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Does it make you happy or sad that your son's crazy? Oh, I love it. You love it? You love yeah. that he's a freaking... Why do you think I buy him all the crazier stuff? <laughs> you like that he's a freaking nut job? I love it. I encourage it. Oh. Yeah. That's how he becomes even more crazy because I keep fueling his fire. Yeah. I'm like, gasoline? Yes. Yes. No, no, I thought I don't want to go icy. Wonder what he's going to be. <laughs> I knocked him out. What do you think he's going to be? You know how, like, when you're like, um, 
You know how the kids are usually opposite of the parents? Yeah. So my mom's goody too. She was right. And she wanted me to be a doctor and end up being like a professional clown online. She's probably going to be a doctor. <laughs> Hell yeah. Here, free you see, free health care. No, no, no. I'm going to punch a balloon. But you pretend I got to punch your face, okay? Are you gonna be a doctor? Are you gonna be an astronaut? Oh, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna pop. What do you want? Are you gonna look in the pantry for snacks? You're literally looking at me. What I'm looking at? Oh, cause we got a ton of. Milk I know, but you know what I want? I want the Japanese ginger. I feel like going to the store to buy it. I really want that flavor. Let's go get it right now then. And I think we need ketchup. Do we? I think so. What's no, that big old red thing right there? A big one? Oh, I just put the... The... Let's see. The crystal light? Yeah. Because it's really good for calories and it's just an alternative to... It's only five Let's calories. See. Ooh. To, you know, if you want something sweet, but... It's not gonna set you I over. I have a feeling this thing's gonna pop any second. Oh, got him. I need to be free. How come the fridge can't close? Because there's balloons in here. <laughs> there's balloons in there? How did it get in there, put young that, man? I put that one hey, in wait a second. I want to make a I make a freeze. You wanna freeze a balloon? That's not how it works. Wait a second. You put in the freezer? Yeah, they Are you kidding me? Trust me, trust me. Trust you? Based off what knowledge? Are you kidding? That thing's gonna pop, dude. Five minutes. Five minutes? What the? What? This guy's a freaking scientist. What the? Give it to me, you freaking little boy. Ah, Josh! I think it's on my screen. No, it's frozen. You know how old that thing is? Here, give it to me. Why do we still have that? No. The freaking uh, cookies and cream shake. The Chick-fil-A one. Oh, I told you to throw it away. That's why we still have it. No, you can't. <laughs> give it to no. me. No. Give it to me. No. I swear, this guy is the best negotiator on the planet. So, Tech, what are we going to do? Go to sleep. Oh. What? <laughs> no, you were telling me. Mama was saying we're going to go to sleep. And then what did you say? You said we're going to... Five minutes, go to the room yeah, and watch the iPad for five minutes, drink milk for five minutes. <laughs> You're crazy. I don't even know if he's speaking Russian. He watches all those Russian shows too. Mushka, Matabushka. He's your son. I never know what either one of you are saying. What are you talking about? I hate you telling me stories. Fine. Well, tell him why. Tell no, him I'm going to tell you guys a story, and the story is about to end. It's about to go to sleep because this young lady over here is about to talk some smack. So we're, we're, oh. we're tired of end. We got this young dude over here just smacking me on the butt with a blanket. So it's, time, it's time for us to go to sleep. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Tell him good night. Say good night. Good night, the ghoulish.